Hey guys, welcome back. Today I woke up at around 5.40 in the morning, drove an hour and a half down south to get to this beach. I got here and I realized that my GoPros were missing their memory cards. So I ran to the nearest Walmart really fast and bought the two cheapest memory cards I could find. But now we're here, we're ready, and I'm looking for some fish. I tied on this 110 millimeter lure and the reason I'm using a lure of this size and style is because out here today there's surf perch, there's halibut, there's striped bass and all three fish will hit this lure. I'm here for the morning high tide and it's looking like a really nice day, it's super calm. It's not usually this calm out here so hopefully there'll be some halibut because there's very little wind. So conditions are ideal and it should be exciting. All right let's go fishing baby. The water is looking clear today. This is a good sign, halibut like clear water have a cast in there and I'm gonna give this a nice slow retrieve and I'm gonna jerk, jerk it a little bit pop it up pop it down change speeds change directions throw every trick in the book at them see if something responds we're casting and walking down the beach looking for the deeper holes but we're really co covering as much water as possible. This is a calmer area than where I was just a few seconds ago and I literally just moved like 30 yards but with that change in structure you know there might be some halibut they like shallow water but over there in that hole there might be striped bass they like the holes so important to just walk the beach and yeah see what you can find. A lot of people ask how far do you cast but look not that far i'm just putting it w right where that wave breaks and if you time it as the wave is breaking that's probably the best because it's the most natural moment when the predators come in to just hammer the little bait fish because when that wave crashes everything gets mixed up everything gets kind of thrown up in there and that's when the halibut the perch the stripers capitalize great spot look these waves actually right here they're called plunging breakers because they come right up to the shore and that's when they break and it means that there's a really steep drop off right here and actually the water is so clear that i can literally see the drop off through the sand and it's literally just a hole this place is looking good i'm optimistic today but yeah see i'm literally standing on the sand and the waves are crashing on me Plunging breakers equals big hole. I'm going for this lure right here, switching to this one and a half ounce cast master here. The reason why is we're getting into some deeper water, some deeper holes, and the waves are breaking further out. So I want to get this out a little further. Halibut could still get hit this, but more likely to be a striped bass. But you know, the conditions look better for striped bass than halibut. So that's what we're going to go for. Let's send this one and a half ounce cast master on its way there's some fish breaking the surface right now they're kind of far out i can't reach him but there's fish here that's why i got this cast master i'm trying to get it all the way out there see if one of these fish wants to hit all right i'm gonna fish a rip current now i can see right there how it looks like there's a little river going out to sea and that's what the rip current is people don't like rip currents but fish love them predatory fish especially love rip currents so right here you can see it right here and they use it because a lot of little fish can get sucked in there and it's just a lot easier for the predators to come hit them all right well fish on i guess <laughs> all right i completely impaled this anchovy not exactly what i was looking for Sorry, buddy, but now we know there's definitely anchovies out there. There's a fish on. There we go. And that's a little striper. Oh, that's a perch. That's a big perch. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And look at the way I hooked this perch. Oh, what the heck? Oh my goodness. This is a big perch. I literally thought this was a striper on a one and a half ounce cast master wow all right that's lunch lunch is settled first fish of the day on that one and a half ounce cast master did not expect that i genuinely thought this thing was a striper it's a pretty pretty chunky perch i'm gonna measure it really fast this thing is 12 inches 12 inch perch look at this 
beautiful fish but there's a lot of oh nice we just hooked up another perch there's some giant perch oh my god come show this oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness i thought it was a striper you thought it was a striper okay guys there, there's a ton of perch right there right now i'm gonna switch my lure i'm gonna use a, a kalisa lure they're way smaller and they they really do get the perch so i'm gonna slap on a new lure there's no time to waste with this right now let's get back in the water switched out my lure we're getting right back in here see if there's any more perch they're really shallow it looks like they're hitting really shallow so i'm just flicking this right there come on slow retrieve see if anything hits Oh, I just got a bite right here. I just got a bite like a foot away from my leg. Okay, they're super shallow. So I'm not casting very far. Oh, I'm on, I'm on. Yep, I'm on. There we go. There's a nice perch. There's a nice perch. Oh, it jumped out of the water. Woo, there's a fighter. It's a fighter. These are big. These are big. Look at this one. Another big one. We're on fire right now. We are on fire with these perch. Let's get right back in there. Guys, another perch. This is another really nice sized perch. Let's get the hook off really fast. There we go. Oh, got some sand in my eyes there. But look at the size of this beast. All right, they're hitting right now. I'm getting right back in there. See if there's any more perch out here. We've, we got four perch total between two people in a matter of two minutes and all really big perch. Yeah, we're getting nibbles, we're getting nibbles. Oh, fish on, fish on. There we go. There's another perch, oh, another big one. There is perch galore today. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness, look at this chunk. Oh my goodness. We're getting served up dinner plates, baby. Look at the size of these perch. Oh my God. Woo! I just saved my reel right there. That would have sucked. Quickly de-hook this guy. There we go. Another slab of a perch. Let's go. What a day. Let's get back to fishing. All right, let's see if we can find another. Looks like the bite has died down a little bit. And yep, that's how it is. You know, the bite is on fire for five minutes and then it's like a desert out here. I think the bites died down a bit, but that was an action-packed 10 minutes. That, that is just absolutely crazy. The other day, I come out to the beach looking for perch. I end up fishing a striper blitz. Today, I come to the beach looking mostly for striper. I end up fishing a perch blitz. All right, this is our dinner. Boom, baby. Three fat barred surf perch. And look at the other two. Those are not even, look at this. This, oh! Guys, we lost the perch. No! That, oh, oh, nice! Grab it! I got it! Hey! Nice! All right, we thought we lost the perch. <laughs> nice! That was epic. We're gonna measure our surf perch. That's a 14 inch surf perch right there. No big deal. Look at the size of this thing. And you can see, they're barred surf perch, but this one doesn't have many, uh, very many bars compared to, say, this one, where you can clearly see why they're called barred surf perch. They are the same species, but you can tell there's, there's a little physical difference between the two. 13 inches, 13 inches again, 12 inches, and 13 and a half. Literally, all of those surf perch are really nice. The bite slowed down, but we're gonna keep fishing. We'll probably walk down the beach a little more. We'll keep casting. But let's see if we can hook something else. That would be truly epic. Gotta keep these perch fresh, so we're burying them. This way, no flies get on them. And when we pick them up in a couple of hours, they'll be completely fresh, good to eat. Sayonara. We got all those fish in the space of like 10 minutes. The bites died down, but I'm keeping this lure on and I'm just gonna keep casting here just for a bit, cause you never know. You know, maybe they came back. And if not, we'll keep moving down the beach, but hopefully we'll find them again or we'll find something else. Bon. That looks like another perch, yep. That's another perch. Woo! That is another perch, baby, and it's another good one. Look at this. Look at this. Very nice, very, very nice. There we go, another one. And he's going in the mass grave. 
with his friends. All right, see you later. Look at this. We just realized there's an entire school of anchovies. There's so much bait just pushed up right to the shore. That's why all these fish are here. So we're just gonna keep casting right here, see what happens. That dark spot is all fish right there. Yup, bait ball, baby. Another one, what the heck? All right, there we go. See that? That's the bait ball right there. Look at that bait everywhere. Oh my goodness. There's just bait everywhere, man. Yup, yup, yup. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Let's see what it is. I think it's another perch. Oh, it's not. It's not, it's a jack smelt. Look at that. Just caught a jack smelt. Yup, look at this. These things make really, really, really good bait. Some people eat them. I haven't tried one, but it would be interesting. I'm gonna get th this guy de-hooked and released though. Ooh, ooh. All right, let's, ooh, can you calm down? Jesus, yeah, yeah. there we go. I'm just gonna get the quick release on this guy really fast. Such a pretty fish. You know, this isn't a fish you commonly catch on lures. This is actually just a bait fish, but they're pretty big. Probably the best fighting bait fish around here. See you later, buddy. Oh, nice you see that it jumped all right guys no more fish but boom look at all these perch look at all these big beautiful perch today was a great day guys if you enjoyed this video please subscribe please comment please like stay tuned baby this is awesome